Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our folktale series. Now, as per our traditions, the first thing we'll do to get this video started is to welcome another beaver into our colony. So let me just pause this real quick. We've got another newborn here. And, uh, and this time, I believe it was in episode 22, where the highest liked comment uh, went to Tim R. And here we go, Timar is now in our colony, so welcome, welcome, and thanks for always being so active on the comments as well, Tim. Right, so to carry on, I believe we left off our previous episode when we discussed um, about making this area a little bit more efficient, because even when, well, when just building up those levees here, we had to rearrange our roads so many times, so I'd like to put some more log piles down here. So what I've done is I've already cleared out the carrots and I've also uh, constructed this builder's hut over there. So we should uh, now, hopefully soon, get some more beavers that hopefully will come and work for us. Right, let's just have a quick look as well at our plank situation and that seems to be good. Oh yeah, what I've also done is I've built a couple more gear shops, but it seems we just don't have enough beavers. Um, hmm, 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 bit of a pain. Well, I guess... No, I don't really want to take out the haulers. I, I think we're just going to need some more... More beavers. Yeah, what's happening there? Okay, they're cutting down some logs. And here as well. Well, let's leave it. Let's let's start building some things. We've got a couple of builders in there. Daniel and Kina. So, what we'll do here... Oh. Um, I think we'll go on speed one. And yeah, Chris Mills shall go here. So just to need to remove a couple of these roads. And now if we grab the grist mill, I think we could do one, two, and three, like so. Then what we'll also like to change is the roads. Yeah. Don't think we need this water wheel. Actually, let's grab the other tool. Let's um let's see. Um here I think. I think we're going to have um, platforms and um, that way we can still build one of those power connectors. Right, so one goes underneath there and then we can bring over the power wherever it ends or it is finishing currently all the way to this side. So I think, um, mm -hmm, let's see, I th yeah, this should be pretty good and then we'll bring it up but I'm not gonna complete it just yet because I'm still thinking how exactly we want to place the bakers hmm design decisions well that's okay let's uh, put the crystals down first so that way we can start relocating them and I think in here as well should be yeah, we'll put the level 1s down first and then the triple. Which then means the last crystal could go on top. And that means we have 4 now in that location. And here we also had 4. So that, I believe it should be it should be enough. Right, and we'll just have to connect you up with the road. And to finish it off, we've got a... Okay, we've got some decorations there. And then... Uh, in here, I think for now we'll just disconnect you in case we want to let some beavers. Maybe that's what we should do, yeah. Build the. Uh, let's board you. And same with you. We might might, uh, might want to hug this uh, wall over here instead, so that way, if we need, we could still let the beavers run inside the river. Right, so that is the crystals done. Now with this location, or this, these structures here, I think we would like to change this up a little bit as well. So we'll empty the storage, prioritize it, and then the other... Hmm. Well, you two can probably go. Unfortunately, the same for all of those buildings. And we can also... Well, we'll leave the platforms in, but just in case. Mm, yeah, you'll never know what we might want to do here. But that means this area is going to be... Come. 
uh, uh, here it is, available, and that could be a brilliant spot for, what's it called again, bakery. Now the only thing we may want to do is to put a small warehouse just underneath. And that might not be a bad idea at all. So what, I, what I'll do, since it's now night time as well, I'll pause the game, I'll play around with the different design options over here, and then once I've made up my mind how I, how we want to build this, then I'll, I'll jump back into the video. Okay, I think we have it. So if I bring this up again, the grist mills are going to be pretty much the same, and as I said, the power wires are going to hug the wall here. And then with the with the bakeries, what I've done is I've put um, warehouses underneath, just to be a little bit more space efficient, but also to ensure that the wheat is stored into, into those warehouses and that the people... Not the people, the beavers that work in the bakeries don't have to run too far to collect those resources. And then, yeah, we just had to build a few platform stairs and um, another set of stairs in here as well to give them a, give them home. So that, whilst that is happening, we'll take a quick look at, uh, are we filling this? i not sure, to be honest. Haulers might be busy elsewhere. Are they? What's happening here? Uh, no power. No wind right now. Oh, there's no wind right now. Okay, so that is fine. And in this district here, they have completed the wall. So what I will uh, do, I do want to raise this just a little bit further. Same in there. Just slowly, in case we might want to make it a little bit bigger bigger in the future right so this area is looking nice and fertile now as well we've got so much space to play with uh, over around this whole whole area actually i think when it comes to the reach we could probably extend it a little bit more by giving some more um optimized routes for them but for the time being since we don't really have any plans for this area i think it is fine and now i'm hmm it's really bizarre oh the Hmm, I think they might be moving things into some warehouses. I'm just not really sure where... What are you carrying? Grilled potatoes. Why are you taking them there? Um, empty prioritize. Oh, maybe we were emptying some warehouses before. Right, I don't think we need anything else in here. Uh, no, I mean, what I mean is it, it's already empty, so that's uh, that's fine. And what we could store here... Maybe they could just drop the bread. Let's see. Uh, oh, nope, not this one. Oh, wait, before you start putting things in here as well. We'll just tell them not to. Right, where is that bread again? I think it's up here. Yep. And um, we don't really want to keep any in here. It's more like a buffer. Um, but I know they're going to fill it up to the brim most likely. Oh, well, so be it. Now with these ones, uh, we wanted wheat, and actually, I think we want to fill it all the way to the top. And the same, that's uh, 200 in here as well. Cool. Right, so with the buildings themselves, we are going to need some gears. So a few of them are working, four to be exact, but they are just so slow. Low and actually that's because we don't have power. Oh, you're only outputting 60. Well, let's pause the dynamite production as well. I don't think we need that paper. We've got so much paper. Yep, no more paper needed. Uh, I'm not sure why I didn't notice that in the last episode. I think the forestry could go. And now we should just have so many unemployed beavers in this district here. Yes, that's pretty good. How about, hmm, builders, water is okay. I think we could do with more builders and people to haul things around. Yeah, that's probably not, not a bad idea since we lost two buildings over here. 
And, um, well, I just have a feeling once we build it, we're gonna move it again. So, um, I hope this is far enough. I will do one in this location. And let me just speed up time as well, since it's nighttime. And we can see again three more days until the trout arrives, but that is okay. We shall carry on with our production. Oh, we do have a beaver in here, but there is, yes, there is no power. Well, maybe we'll build those stairs first. And I think I probably should also explain what is happening in here. So, the reason why I've built this little overpass, and there is power shaft underneath that, but um, I was for some reason thinking that in the future we might put another crest mill in here, maybe. If not, then we'll change it. But for the time being, I guess we could just leave it. I know it's a little bit annoying, it's not, not quite perfect. But it's okay. Also, um, let me see if I can scroll a few levels down. I think we have all the power shafts in place that are underneath the stairs. Uh, I mean the platforms. And with the rest of them, well, I'm just really hoping that they'll come and build everything. Yeah, I think all of them can be built from the land. But someone's already swimming in here. Yeah, there's a couple of connections. I think they, they'll have to do it from the water, which they are already doing as well. So that's awesome. Right, let's check the power again. So wind is coming in now. We got 4,100 horsepower there. Or beaver power, whichever you prefer. And that's... Uh, anyone building this one here? Maybe we get this done first before we block it. Block it in. Right. So that's in place. We've got a few decorations. And we're leaving this spot. Um, I think, uh, yeah. We were talking about putting some more crystal mills in, in this district. So we could have about three of them here. And maybe one of those warehouses could be for raw potatoes. If we start build, um, bringing raw potatoes from, from Amsterdam over to Beaverly Hills. Right. So that is underway. I just want to check. Maybe. Yes, not maybe. We are going to do it. Let us construct two more. And I think, yeah, let's bring it up. Uh, two more gear sh uh, workshops. Because we are going to need gears. And it's just so slow. Uh, it really takes a long time to get those gears going. All right. Are we... Okay, one of them is working. This means you can pause. To be honest, let's do... Let's pause them all. Because the other few... Yeah, I'm hoping they will be built rather quickly as well. And right now... Yeah, we've got 7,300 bread in storage. That's, that's quite a lot. Um, uh, carrots is still a little low, but, but we can manage. Right, so that's, uh, that's all good. Are we starting to slowly fill this up? It does look like so. Which means we can hire a few more haulers. And once we, once the sun, sun rises, we'll be able to take it from here. Okay, so that's another day, and we can just change the stock. I think we've already done it, haven't we? Oh, can we? Oh, that was a quick auto save. And uh, yeah, both are wheat. And we don't need to empty you anymore. So now you can put all those goodies in there. Sweet. Just a few more gears needed. Uh, no gears available. Yeah, all those 260 are in different districts, so... Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's fine. Right, so the next phase, once this one's complete here, is going to be to make some log piles. Since these are the furthest, so that should really be our marker. Now, it is also quite sad that these log piles are ground only. 
Yeah, that is very sad. Which means platforms or levees or anything else isn't really going to be useful for us. I suppose the only thing we could do here to help us out a little bit is to level this mountain. Then we could have more space to, to essentially play with and, uh, and manage. And I'm starting to like that idea quite a lot. Well, it's definitely going to interrupt, but since we're not really doing a lot here right now, I guess we... That seems like the most reasonable thing to do. Level this mountain here. Get rid of... Well, how high are they? Two levels up. Okay, we could bring the roads all the way down. And then since we don't need such a massive field of wheat here anymore. Yeah, I'm really starting to like this idea. So I think we're going to do it. All right, so this means I'm going to have to move a few things around. Let's see, how much have you built already? Why aren't they not? Oh, the bakeries need gears as well. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do. I'm going to get all this done off camera. This also allows me, or gives me a little bit more time to think about how we want to approach this. And yeah, then I guess it's dynamite o'clock. Right, let's do that. I'll be back in a little bit and see you then. All right, and I think we've had a little bit of time to really think about it. And I've decided not to demolish this little hill here. I just felt like, yes, it would make it a lot more easier. However, we put so much effort previously into building all these kinds of roads, platforms and all sorts of things in here. So, however, I have managed to, managed to get rid of most of the things in, in this area. Uh, the warehouse is now done as well. So that marks the last one. So crisp mills are here. So are the bakeries. We had to move the hauling post hauling post as well and the distribution center had to go a little bit lower so we had to move a few wheat plants and create them a slightly better access point over here so a couple more stairs rather than going around and blah 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 uh, so that should be a slight uh, shortcut for them and then uh, in this corner uh, it, actually if we pull, pull up the blueprints we can see that we can squeeze in quite a lot of those stockpiles and one, I don't think we can do one here, but that is definitely a lot more than before. And the reason why we've designed it a little bit different this time is, I think before we had them facing each other, but that what that meant was uh, that we have to fill both rows in one go. Uh, however, this design means that if once one row is done, we can uh, change the access point and then Beavers from Beaverly Hills can start filling up the next row and then so on and so on. I know the last ones are slightly emptier, so maybe we'll get these constructed first. But it's still a bit of an extra uh, extra few logs in there that we can we can definitely use. So how about how about we skip the night first before going through all those changes? I just realized in case you are watching it from a smaller screen, it might be very uh, difficult to really understand what's going on. Uh, okay, so we'll do that. I think with the uh, reservoir, we only have one missing link. So whilst we wait for the sun to come up again, how about we fill those last bits in there? All right, and here comes the daylight. So let's have a look at this again. Um, yeah, we can unpause all of them, which I'll do in a second. But you also notice we've got a few small uh, storage buildings here, small warehouses. And the idea for them is to store other things that are not logs. What are you guys doing? Okay, so they're moving stuff around. Gotcha. Uh, no, we don't want... Oh, you know what? Gears? It's okay. We'll have gears in that one. And then uh, blanks in this. So yeah, that's the idea. So we can store some additional resources that we might need when we are constructing the this mega reservoir over, over here. And um, also to fill the gap, rather than just having platforms in here, I put an extra layer of uh, small warehouses stacked on each other. And on the bottom level here, actually, 
Let's do that again. Let's just change it up. Uh, what we've done done in here is, is have the small house, which I don't think I've used at all. Uh, which is quite a, quite a shame, but uh, hey, this might be one of the first times I've actually used it in this series at least. Yeah, uh, I don't think Iron Teeth have those tiny houses, so... So let's rejig a few things in here, and at the top we're gonna put a small warehouse like so. So that way a few of those farmers can can live close to the farms. They've got this little platform, so in the morning when they're walking to work, imagine just seeing those beautiful luscious farms in front of your house. And, well, further down there's this massive lake as well, so that's not bad at all. Right, so that's... Uh, that's the updates. Oh yeah, the district center. Uh, yep, that we talked about already. And um, what I had to do is to move a few log piles down here. So that way we didn't really waste those logs that were already here. But uh, yeah, now we got 0 0.7 days left. And what I think we'll do, we'll let them build all these. However, I think we should, yeah, we'll let them build the log piles first. And then what we'll do is we'll let the beavers... Well, we'll start constructing this area up, actually, since we still have quite a bit of time left for this episode. So, yeah, now that I'm looking at this... Oh, yeah, the be our access is going to be from behind, right? So that's the thing I did not mention. Beaver Hills will have access from the front. And also the district gate is now moved further down to, to allow them to bring some uh, some food into our newer newer district here whereas uh, these guys are already using that yeah okay so well it seems uh, yeah so we got a couple of platforms in here and all we gotta do is just relink them with the roads so that way they can access uh let's see access those um log piles oh we can't connect it up uh, yep and you got one more to build so that's pretty pretty good now another thing i was thinking um what to do with this area here hmm well anyways let's uh let's not worry about it too much I'll, I'll do some thinking and then we'll get back but uh since the drought is almost over we do still have uh constant power issues every now and then and that's to do with the windmills and the wind being very unpredictable um well i guess it's not really unpredictable in this game but I don't really know exactly how it works. Uh, anyways, now during wet seasons, it would be good to get our uh, what is it, water mill, uh, water wheel um, production up and running. And for this, we are gonna need a ton of planks. We only have 114 in here right now. So let us check which of those houses, you know, you're holding gears, you're holding planks. So we would love to have 200 of those planks in there. Uh, did that work? Yes, I think it worked. And then, uh, oh, which of those houses? I think one of those houses was holding planks, but I really cannot remember which one. Anyways, what we'll do is we'll lower the desired amount of planks that we want there. And then... Uh, We'll ask the haulers to bring it all into this tiny warehouse over here. Yeah, so that's essentially the plan. With these warehouses that are below... Yeah, I guess they've already filled it up. What, what, what do we have here? Bread, food... All sorts of things. Uh, yeah, so that's fine. We just need someone to construct uh, construct the last warehouse. But after that, everything should be uh, should be very good for us. Okay, so another day. Let's just speed it up and move it back once it's daylight. All right, so and to finish this episode off, uh, I would like to just talk a little bit about what we what we really want to do here. And essentially, when we get one of those water wheels, we are gonna. I'm just gonna zoom in as well, so it's a little bit easier to see. Maybe on the other side. So the water wheel will go there. And then uh, what's going to happen, we're going to take those power shafts and link them up. I can't really place one here because, okay, I'll, I'll do it here because there's a road here. Right, so these are going to go on top of the platforms. 
and along this whole canal we are we are just gonna put as many water wheels as we can and i know this is ridiculous but this means we are gonna get a constant source of power when it's wet season and actually before i do it in case you think that this could be used just for storing water and maybe maybe doing like some sort of a monument build in here we do have the option to not fill this whole um, reservoir with with water wheels i could also do it off from the side because initially what the plan really was to was to raise this up with levees and let the water snake through this area all the way down and each time just dropping one level so that way um, I, I think most likely there will be dams in here or may maybe floodgates if we if we need to control it uh, even even further but essentially yeah so we would have uh, uh, have the water snake through it and even in this area i think i planned for having two water wheels side by side uh, so we could still have more than enough of power coming through this zone uh, if we did not want to build it on top of the top of the reservoir but i'll uh, i'll look for your comments on on this one and then maybe uh, by next week um, if there's some interesting ideas then i'll uh, I'll, I'll decide what we what we'll really, really do with this reservoir. And uh, yeah, now that I think about it, I guess it would be kind of cool to have, I don't know, something, some sort of a landmark or a monument in here or a different, different design that we, that we do with it. But uh, yeah, it seems like we are now starting to get logs in here as well, which is fantastic. And uh, that's really it for this episode since we've really, we've achieved everything that we wanted to achieve. And, uh, and yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Thanks for sticking around. And I do hope to see you again in the next episode.